Wood floors, glass showers, marble, granite, windows, water features, and skies. What if I told you there was one tool you can attach to your camera that will instantly make all of these things look better in your real estate photo and videos? The very crucial yet always overlooked polarizer. It's a really cheap attachment, and by the end of this video, hopefully I'll convince you that you should get one for your real estate content creation. Let's get into it. All right, so as I mentioned on the top, these polarizers are incredible tools for real estate photography and video in particular. Not only are they incredible tools, after you use one on a shoot, you'll probably consider them a mandatory tool. And that's why I'm digging in deep for this video in particular. I'm gonna cover seven different places where this polarizer really helps for real estate photo and video in particular. And maybe, like I said, by the end, you're gonna go out and get one. What's really cool about these polarizers is they actually kind of change the way the light enters the front lens. And so therefore, we're gonna start with the most popular option for a polarizer, and we're gonna start with the exteriors. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the sky. Now, as I mentioned before, you can take these and rotate them around to change the direction of light. And how this really helps, especially on these bright sunny days, it is allows you to darken the sky to match the shadowy grounds underneath to get a more well-rounded and better exposed image. And that's why these things work really, really well for exteriors. It allows you to take that blown out bright white sky and turn your polarizer a little bit to get something that looks more like a deep blue sky. And in real estate, that's really helpful, especially if you're not sending your images off to an outsource editor or doing some sort of sky replacement back in post. Now, the next place on the exterior that circular polarizers really help are with water features. Doesn't matter if this is a lake or a pond, it helps a little there, but where it really helps is pools. It helps you see through that top glare layer on the water, so it really makes the pool stand out and shine. It makes the pool look larger, and it removes a lot of that reflectiveness and glare white hot spots that seem to sit in certain areas on the water top whenever you're trying to do these exteriors once again on a bright and sunny day. These polarizers really help once again with the sky and the pool together, but keep in mind as you turn the circular polarizer, it will not work 100% for both of them. So either you will have to stack images, one for the sky and one for the pool, or on site, you'll have to find a happy medium between the two that you really like to reduce your post-production time. Now, those are the main ones we're gonna talk about for the exterior, so let's move on to the interior. And if so far you're liking this video, press the like button, subscribe, all that jazz. Maybe buy something through an affiliate link. Give me a super thanks, whatever that is that YouTube told me to activate. You know how it is. Help me to help you, all that jazz. Let's keep rocking and rolling and move on to the interior of the property. And this is where some unexpected things happen with the polarizer that not too many people talk about, but we're gonna go a little bit deeper in detail here. Now, the very first one we're gonna cover, wood floors. I know you would think I'd cover glass since that's more talked about, right? We'll get into glass later. We're gonna talk about wood floors because I think this is where it's the most important, especially hardwood floors. Hardwood floors with a circular polarizer look incredible. It allows you to remove like 95% of the window glare that comes in, especially if you're doing a long shot with lots of hardwood in front of you. It will really reduce the amount of glare and shine on those hardwoods. So when you photograph them or do them in video, whichever you're doing, I'm saying photo a lot, but these all apply to video as well. So whenever you take that picture, it really highlights the texture and grain in the wood instead of it being just completely glossed over and shined that happens so often. It really also helps if you are outsourcing images or stacking images and post yourself. This once again helps because it reduces the amount of work you have to do on these blown out areas in particular and allows you to once again really showcase those hardwood floors. And the next one we're going to talk about is go ahead and talk about windows. Now just as I mentioned with the exteriors when you're talking pool and sky, or I did those backwards, right? Because the pool's on the ground and the sky's up here. But when you're talking pool and sky, you'll either have to take two different exposures, one for each, or find a happy medium. 
and that goes the same for windows and floors in a house. If you have a house with a lot of hardwood floors and a lot of windows, either you'll have to take one that uses the circular polarizer in its best position for the windows, then find the best position for the floors and put those together in post. Or once again, you can find a nice happy medium between the two, but the circular polarizer on glass windows in particular will remove a lot of that shine that you get back from doing flash interiors. If you're using strobes on the inside, then you know what I'm talking about. These hot spots that occur in windows that are basically just reflecting the interior. The circular polarizer will allow you to reduce the amount of reflection shown through those windows and see out of them. So if you're in a carpeted room, you can adjust strictly for the windows and make them look perfect whether you're using interior flash or not. Now this doesn't work 100% every time, but 90% of the time it really reduces the reflections in those windows, especially if you have one of these properties you really want to see outside of. Now, if you have a large room with big windows and floors, once again, as I mentioned earlier, you'll either have to take two different exposures to blend manually, or you can find a happy medium between the two, which is what I do on my traditional MLS photos. And since we're talking about glass and windows, we're gonna go ahead and move into the primary or any bathroom for that matter, because we're gonna talk about the shower in particular. Polarizers on glass showers are, in my opinion, a must have. It is the only way to see through this glass and not reflect any of the outside room. Now, even if you're doing a hand blending HDR method, without a polarizer, you're still gonna be able to see all the reflections on that glass. This is where, once again, the polarizer, in my opinion, is absolutely mandatory. Using it inside of bathrooms with showers will change your life forever. Try it, trust me. Now, the last thing or the last point I'll bring up where I think the polarizer really, really helps is in kitchens, in particular, granite, marble, any type of stone or polished countertop. Once again, just like with hardwood floors and windows, the polarizer really allows you to reduce glare. And it can do this exact same thing with the granite or marble or any type of shiny countertops, whether it be in a kitchen or a bathroom. I just say kitchen in particular, because this is where I encounter the problem most. Kitchens countertops seem to get the big glare off of those back windows and shooting with a polarizer can really reduce the amount of glare on that, especially if you're shooting something white, like a white granite or marble. Using a polarizer will allow you to pick up a lot of those finer details in the marble and granite work that otherwise would probably be impossible to see. One more tip I have for you when it comes down to the circular polarizers, I always prefer to go larger than smaller. If you've seen all of my other videos, I talk about the Wonder Panda system and that's a 145 millimeter polarizer system. The reason I prefer this is because you can buy step up and step down grades. So you can put this one filter on every lens without having to buy a whole bunch of different polarizing filters for every lens you own. Another reason I like it is because when you show up on property with this thing, agents and homeowners are like, wow, that guy's here to do business. You're just showing that authority because for some reason in this industry, the larger the gear, the more professional you look. And if you wanna know my biggest secret for catching white balance in videos and photos, then check out my video on the JJC white balance filter. It really changed my life. As always, keep rocking and rolling. Enjoy what you're doing, make smart business decisions and go get yourself a polarizer. You'll thank me in the end. Catch you next time.